This is eight round of professional boxing in heavyweight division. Let me introduce two boxers. Introducing you first and fighting out of the red corner. He's a well known in amateur and professional boxing world. Professional record of the boxer. 39 wins, 18 defeats, 26 wins by way of knockout. Burning in Karaganda, Kazakhstan. Fighting out of San Petersburg, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Denis Bakhta! Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a two-time bronze medalist of Olympic Games, three-time medalist of World Championship. He is an Asian amateur champion. Professional record is a perfect one. Nine wins, no losses. Nine wins right way of knockout. Fighting out of Rodney, Kazakhstan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ivan D. Very different stages of their career. Ditchko. Oh, look at the height differential. Six foot nine. He's registered as Ditchko. And he uses it as well because he, for the most part, he sits on that back foot and he just peppers you with the jab. So. He doesn't really throw a solid left hand, he encourages you to come forward. But because he sits on that back foot, it means you've got to leap in. And then that's when he gets you with that right hand. And that's the first time we've seen the right hand there, just snatching through and then again back top. Doesn't want to wear too many of those. Solid jab from Ditchko as well. He just stepped into it, didn't he? That's a good shot. And again. Things that when, when you are oh, a lovely left hand there from from Ditchko. when you have power you make you make the guy feel it early and it just makes him second guess every movement so it just slows him down makes him think too much overthink stuff oh well that's the right hand from Ditchko. and the referee is in the referee is in date removes the gum shield what and that is over what a right hand, right on the button. Again, see, he doesn't, he doesn't, when he wants to throw that right hand, he steps in with the, with the left jab, side left jab, but when he wants to throw that, that right hand, that right hand, he just softens up that left hand, almost encourages you to either drop your guard or to come forward, and there he just touches with the left hand and just turns from the waist through that right hand, right through the guard. Great shot. Well, great to see back top sat up and communicating because for a second that looked pretty serious uh, but they're in a rush to get him on his feet here but he's sat on a stool and another well, relatively straightforward outing for Ivan Ditchko barely broken his sweat that's the first time we saw the power let's be honest it was never going to be a test for him but he's still going to do it no, no, on paper it's never going to be a test for him he always thought he was going to win this and always going to win it by a stoppage on a lock on but he still has to throw the shot, he still has to set it up, and I think what we like about him, and what we've seen so far in previous fights as well, is that his only journey finishes, he never rushes his work. That's good to see. Well, back top there, with a smile on his face, and lasted just over a minute, Ivan Ditchko just took his time. As you said, Barry, you still need to do it. It wasn't going to be a difficult night, but he set the shot up. It was the first time he tried to throw anything with any kind of power, and he did land it beautifully. He never rushes his work. He's got confidence in that height and reach that he has. He just throws that jab, and every now and again, you're stepping behind him, you feel the weight of him, make you second guess, slow you down, slow you move, as long as you deal with that. That's an extra thought process. It's more than you need to do really fast reactions on the fighter, and you make you second guess everything you do. Goes down, gives, gives him more of an answer to see what he's doing. And then when he throws a soft jab, that's the worry for me. Every time he throws a soft jab, I'd be telling my fighter to cut up and move away. Because you know he's set me up for that right hand. And that right hand is just so good for the rest of the day. Huge credit to Paul to Sinday as well. The referee realised how much trouble Denny. He's telling all the knockouts. And that is the heavyweight division, you know, it's the glamour division of boxing, of course. And when you have a guy who's big and powerful, 
you know, and can score knockers like that, they will, they will, they will be a damn share fan. Well, it's interesting to see where he's going to go, isn't it? So he's 10 0 with 10 knockouts now. He's got two Olympic medals, he's got world championship medals. Obviously, the very top of the heavyweight division. But what you do, what you do, it's just. He's 30, so he's, he's in this in this climate of sport, he hasn't got to be massively rushed, but also he can't sit on the fence for too long. But what they're doing there now, Joshua's beat this guy. He fights people who people who good fighters have beaten and tries to do a better job than you. But obviously they, they may be worse than they were then. But then I think that's the thing, and every now and again then, then you give him a, a test and there's a guy who's gonna come in who's genuinely competitive, you know, and then the fringe level. Or they might see him as, listen, he's ready now, let's pull the trigger, as we see so often in, in, in modern boxing. And he, and he'll fight a, a fringe world class, world class contender tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee proceeded to stop the bout in one minute of the very first round. Winner by knockout, Ivan Dichko! Well, those are the formalities done, Ivan Dichko moves to 10 wins, all 10 via knockout. And with highlights real knockouts like that, his fan base is going to continue to grow. And it's backed off, shakes his hand, he's up on his two feet, and that's the most important thing. Both men going home safe and sound. But that was a blatant and you'll miss it, just as we expected it to be.